went ahead and upgraded to the MMI Prime for CIC. In this video, you're going to learn exactly how to use the system with this quick user guide tutorial. If you feel like rolling up your sleeves and learning how to install the system yourself, check out the link in the description to learn how. Before getting into the real nitty gritty of it all, let's get your devices set up first. Let me show you how to pair up your phone wirelessly for the first time. Before pairing your iPhone with the MMI Prime, make sure to delete your BMW's Bluetooth connections from your iPhone and also delete your iPhone from your BMW's Bluetooth connections menu. Going forward, the MMI Prime will handle calls and media playback. If not unpaired, the BMW Bluetooth will interfere with the MMI. Also, make sure you have Siri enabled in your iPhone. Otherwise, CarPlay will not be accessible. To enable Siri, go to your iPhone settings, Siri and search, and toggle on the Siri functions if you don't have them on yet. You'll be guided through a short setup process. To toggle between the BMW iDrive menu and MMI menu, press and hold the menu button for 3 seconds. To navigate the MMI menu, use the iDrive controller knob by rotating and pressing it. Pressing back button once will move you back one step within the MMI menu. You can also double press the back button to leave the CarPlay or Android Auto screens and go back into the main MMI menu. Alright, to pair an iPhone wirelessly, in the MMI menu, go to Settings, then Connections, Pair a New Device, we placed a quick guide in here for your reference when you'll be doing it on your own in your own car. On your phone, make sure Wi-Fi is switched on. Next, go to Bluetooth settings and toggle Bluetooth off and on again. In the MMI menu, press the Start Search button. Your phone's name will appear on the screen shortly. Once it appears, you can press the Stop Search button, highlight your phone on the list, and press the iDrive controller to see your phone's profile. Select the IAP2 profile Finally, confirm all the pop-ups appearing on your phone to establish the wireless connections. After a few short seconds, your iPhone will be paired and CarPlay will appear on your screen. To mirror your Apple devices, go back to the main menu and scroll over to Mirroring. Select it, select iOS AirPlay, and then you'll be greeted with some instructions to follow. With your Apple device, go into your Wi-Fi settings. Find the one labeled CarPlay MMI and enter the password that's on the screen. Once you do so, you'll be able to go back into your phone, swipe up from the bottom of the phone, tap on mirroring, and press AirPlay MMI. Now you have the flexibility to enjoy anything that's on your Apple device onto the screen of your vehicle. Now, pairing an Android phone. When Android phones are paired up to the MMI Prime, they continue to use the BMW's hands-free Bluetooth system, so please do not impair your Android phone from the iDrive's Bluetooth system. Before pairing your phone in Android Auto mode, you must first download and install the Android Auto app on your phone. Not all Android phones that can run the Android Auto app support wireless mode. If your Android phone does not support wireless mode, you'll need to connect the phone to the MMI through a high-quality USB cable. If your Android phone supports wireless mode, you can make sure to find and enable wireless projection within the app. To do this, open the Android Auto app itself. At the top left, tap on the menu, click Settings, and you can scroll all the way through the menu, and you'll notice there's no wireless projection options. That's because the app needs to be put in developer mode. To do this, tap repeatedly at the bottom of the Settings menu under the word Version. Once you do it a few times, you'll get a notice that'll pop up on the screen. Hit OK, and then if we continue to scroll, you'll notice it's still not there. So you have to back out of the settings menu, and then go right back into it again. And if we scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see it right here, wireless projection. Make sure it's enabled, and you're good to go. To pair an Android phone wirelessly, on your phone, make sure your phone has Wi-Fi switched on. Next, go to Bluetooth settings and toggle Bluetooth off and on again. In the MMI menu, press the Start Search button. Your phone's name will be listed below shortly. Highlight your phone on the list and press the iDrive controller, which will show your phone's profile. Press on the hands-free profile. Wait a few seconds, and once they start appearing, confirm all the pop-ups on your phone, after which a wireless connection will be established and your Android Auto will appear on your screen. Going back into the main menu, let's go over how to mirror your Android device. You need to make sure that you have a proper Android Auto Link app downloaded prior. Select Mirroring, and then select Android Auto Link. Now with a USB cable, connect your Android phone to the MMI USB port. You also need the Android Auto Link app installed on your phone first. Then you can go ahead and enjoy all the features that screen mirroring offers. To start your Android phone screen mirroring, what you'll have to do, you'll swipe from the top down, swipe one more time, 
or tap on your settings icon and locate the screen mirroring icon. And then you can start enjoying anything that's on your screen of your Android device and you're good to go. Now let me show you the USB media player. Selecting the USB icon, you can enjoy music or videos. Plug your USB thumb drive in first and then you can select what options you want to use. Select the file and it should play immediately. There's a cool little feature for E-Series CIC equipped BMWs that has an automatic function called auto aux switching. What it does is it switches the audio source and iDrive from whichever one you have currently selected to aux when your phone connects to CarPlay or Android Auto. CIC F-Series BMWs are not compatible with this feature. Let's go over it. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the number six button as a shortcut to automatically select the correct aux input. In your CD multimedia menu, select external devices then highlight aux front, and depending on the numbered keys you have, you'll have either one through six or one through eight. With a desired number key, lightly hold it with your finger, and your screen will notify you what presets are already in place. And then it'll instruct you to do a long press to store that function. Now that we have everything installed and paired up, let me show you the basic functions of the MMI Prime for CIC. First, make sure you have aux input enabled when using CarPlay or Android Auto as the MMI feeds audio to the BMW's iDrive system via the aux port. If you program the number 6 button, press it to change the audio input to aux. Next, press and hold the menu button for 3 seconds to switch from iDrive to the MMI menu. You can go back to the iDrive menu at any time by long pressing the menu button once again. In the CarPlay or Android Auto modes, long press the iDrive controller knob to summon Siri or Google Assistant and state your command of choice. This is a really convenient way for making calls or dictating the destination to a navigation app. If you have to skip songs, you can use the iDrive controller and skip songs playing in the background by double tapping the iDrive controller to the left or to the right. Let's go over some basic features. We'll scroll over to settings and then let's go down to audio. In there, if you scroll down to equalizer, here you can customize the amount of treble, bass, or mids that you want. If we go back, and scroll down to display, you can see here you can even adjust it if you have a right-hand drive car. And if you go down, select color adjustments. Here you can adjust the brightness, contrast, chromacity, and even saturation. And that's all there is to it. So, what are you waiting for? Head over to our web shop and order yours today.